So pack your bags, book your flights, and get that accommodation ready because Qatar has been calling and we're going to the World Cup in 2022. That's right, Sir BCHD has taken charge of the three Lions of England and he is going to make it come home. We are making it come home as today is the beginning of our World Cup 2022 journey here in FIFA 20 career mode. The FA saw what we had in us after we've taken Manchester United back to the glory days and now we have been offered the England job. We've had it for quite a few months now, just working around in the background through the qualifiers through the international friendly warm-ups. After four long years, we finally get another crack at the world's most coveted prize. Just to put it into context, these were the World Cup qualifiers. We didn't play most of them considering we got the job late. However, we finished undefeated on top with 28 points, nine wins and one draw. Greece come out there in second position to get the last qualifying spot. And then Norway, Turkey, Wales and Ireland, unfortunately, will not be participating. So here we go. Today is the final day to submit the final list of players that we're gonna take to the tournament. So let's get straight into our squad selection. And England's national pool is so big that you have to be specific in terms of what you want in terms of the search filters because there's just so many players. So we're going to go 80 overall all above. I think that is a decent level to have it at. And our main two goalkeepers, I know you're supposed to take three in tournaments, but I've just taken two. It's going to be Jordan Pickford and Jack Butland. I'm basically set with our main team right now. I'm pretty happy with how this England squad is lining up. A lot of Manchester United players in there and Angel Gomez even sneaks his way in. That is the current status of all the England players right now over 80 overall. Some big players missing out like Tammy Abraham, Lewis Cook, Dominic Calvert-Lewin, even Keane in there. Lingard we've had to let go as well. I've also decided to call up Mason Mount. You know what? Let's give him a go. He's a young star. He's the next generation of England and maybe he could do something off the bench for us as well as Foden, Sessegnon, the likes of Rice as well, which I know it's a bit controversial. Anyways, I think I'm happy with that squad. We've taken Walker out considering we have so many right backs, but that is is the main squad submission screen. That is our national squad going to take on the world in Qatar. Let's submit it. There we go. So BCHD and the three Lions have been drawn into Group G. It's pretty much been a blessing right here. We have Romania, China, and the Ivory Coast. So a bit of a mixed bag of opponents. Definitely lesser superior opposition. We don't have a massive team, a big team in there like a Spain, a France, a Germany. It is pretty much mid to lower tier teams. No disrespect to Romania, China, and the Ivory Coast, but We've got a European team, an Asian team, and an African team. And this is how the rest of the groups and the rest of the tournament is shaping up here in Group A, Germany, Switzerland, Poland, and Uruguay. In Group B, it is the Netherlands, Hungary, the United States, and Colombia. It is France, Northern Ireland, Australia, and Chile to make up Group C. And then Brazil, Denmark, Russia, New Zealand as well. Uh, in Group D. In Group E, it is Spain, Bulgaria, the Czech Republic, and Cameroon. Group F is Italy, Slovenia, Canada, South Africa. Group G is our group. And then Argentina, Austria, Greece, and Egypt make up the final group in Group H. So a very exciting tournament ahead of us. There are a lot of big teams in there, a lot of underdogs, and a lot of hidden gem sides that could do the business here in the World Cup of 2022. But that is how the group stages are all looking. And finally, match day one has arrived. We are up against China on the first day in Qatar. We've got the official branding. We've got the official World Cup licensing in here. Thanks to some PC mods, we have got the job done. And here we are facing China in our first match. We've also got the realism mod going. So if I do want to simulate one of these games, we could watch the whole full 90 minutes unfold. And this is our current setup right now. We're using the classic 4-3-3 from England with the holding central defensive midfielder. In the back four, it is Luke Shaw, Gomez, Stones, and one Saka, no Alexander Arnold because Wamba Saka is just higher rated, and because we have our United series, we've got a lot of our United legends in here. We've got Pickford, the number one. It is Madison, Winks, and Deli Ali. I don't know if he should be the captain, but we'll stick with it for now. It is Jaden Sancho, Rashford up top for Harry Kane, and then we have Sterling on that right hand side. We'll give the captaincy to Sterling right now. This is our current tactical setup as we have pressure on heavy touch, and we're going to have a fast build up as our main tactics right there on the bench to come. On. We have Greenwood, Harry Kane, Angel Gomez. We also have Alexander Arnold, Maguire as defensive backup, Sesson Young as a super sub, and those are the reserves. Hopefully.
hopefully to come on if we do receive any injuries or suspensions, but I'm happy with how that setup is looking. We also changed around a few things in the squad hub, just a nice little general overview of our players right here. We changed Greenwood's number to the number 17. We're going to change Harry Winks's number to 24, and we're changing Angel Gomez's number to 21, and that is pretty much it. And now we're ready to get straight into the action. You know what? We'll play this first game up against China. Of course, on ultimate difficulty. And thanks to the realism mod and a few patches, we've gotten England's brand new jersey, the blue one. I don't want to debut it in the first game. We'll have them wear their normal jersey and then China wearing the red one. On ultimate difficulty, let's get straight into it. Well then, Sir BCHD's World Cup international debut. He's England's international competitive debut. And here we're taking on China in our opening World Cup game. If you do go on to enjoy the series, make sure to slap a like on it down below. Hit subscribe and turn on those notifications for more FIFA 20 career mode content as the teams are lining up and we take a look at the glorious pitch we're taking here in Qatar. It is going to be a hot summer. It is going to be an absolute scorcher. So let's get straight into the match. Also, make sure to comment down below what suggestions do you have for this series. It's only going to be around two to three episodes, so we'll see how we go. Unfortunately, with all the World Cup lineups and the glitches in the international scene, we can't see the other team's lineup really. It's just a general overview of the stadium. There's no pre-match cutscenes. Sterling, the captain, looking keen to lead the three Lions to glory. It is Marcus Rashford to kick us off. Let's get it. Sit over to Deli Alley. Three Lions are looking quite confident against lesser opposition. And now it is James Madison striding forward. He'll put a little through ball into Marcus Rashford. The United connection here. And it might be the first opportunity. A poor shot from James Madison. Deli Alley now. We'll cut back. He's got two runners down this left-hand side. He'll opt for Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw into the middle. It's a touch away. And of course, we have an annoying shadow right there. And keep in mind, it is our first game with England. We have to warm up. We have to get used to the squad. The 4-3-3 formation is something I'm not accustomed to yet. So hopefully, we can warm up sooner rather than later and get to grips with things. But here we have Deli Alley running through. James Madison with a beautiful run. And will they do the little one too? There's Deli Alley's run. Still going. Deli Alley slips it through. Marcus Rashford will get there first with his pace. Who will cross it in. James Madison with another chance. And on his second bite of the cherry, it is James Madison to finish that one off. A sweeping move by the three Lions. And we get the goal to open the scoring here. 17 minutes in. And we've started our World Cup campaign off beautifully there. A lovely little piece of pace, skill, and team play. No one was marking James Madison there. It went a bit behind him, the ball, but he Managed to get that left foot strike away into the bottom right hand corner. And Sir BCHD's England campaign is now up and running. Now surely the floodgates have opened now. And oh my goodness, China so close to getting the equalizer seconds later. I've got no idea how to pronounce these names. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie, boys. I've got no idea how to pronounce these Chinese names. But Deli Ali now. Jaden Sancho. We've got a hell of a lot going for us down this left hand side with Jaden. And we'll cut back in. Oh, he's skilled straight into the slide challenge. Now he'll cut back. Still has possession now. And we tried to get past the defender, but Jaden Sancho has been stopped dead in his tracks. And now China move their way forward. They've given the ball back to James Madison, which is never a good idea. Over to Luke Shaw. He'll slip through Marcus Rashford. Can he get his first England goal? And there we go. Finessed into the bottom right-hand corner. And it's easy as you like for Marcus Rashford. He's continued on his Manchester United form. And straight over to the English fans that travelled all the way from Europe. Oh, it's the United connection straight there. Luke Shaw with the assist. And Marcus Rashford, as simple as you like. A little fake shot. And then into the bottom right-hand corner. The finesse shot of dreams. And the Chinese defense cannot handle us right now. The three Lions are on fire. And it's a beautiful way to kick off our opening game. 2-0 up before halftime. Nevertheless, we'll have China get back possession now. And they are looking like a force going forward. And we've taken down their player. That might be a penalty. Joe Gomez, no. We were so... Oh, that's a red card as well. We've actually, we've actually bottled that one. We have bottled it. We're down to 10 men. Joe Gomez suspended for the next match as well. And it was trying to make their way through. We slid in with the tackle. And it's a bit late from the Liverpool defender. And there, we've gifted China way back into this game. We're only 2-0 up now. Can Pickford come through with the save? No. China have flipped the script. And now they've got one back. Half in the deficit now. And we've only got 10 men. So BCHG's debut was... Going so well. It was a fairy tale debut, and now China have really got themselves away back into this game. It's always something that takes me off guard in stoppage time, but nevertheless, we're going into the second half. Ali Ali 
Coming through Rashford, Madison making the run into the middle. He's after his second. James Madison through on goal. The Chinese defense has opened up and he's hit the woodwork, denying us of our third. Down to 10 men, but we've still got a lot going for us. And Marcus Rashford's shot is way wide and Raheem Sterling will keep it in. Raheem floats but back in. And now Deli Ali. Oh, that was just terrible from Jaden Sancho. Stones pushing forward, wins the ball back against China. Now, look at this, Raheem Sterling running through. It is Rashford in the middle, and he tried going for the low driven, and he's completely bottled that. Trying to break down their defense right now. Madison through ball into Rashford. It's as simple as that. The United connection is very strong, and now Rashford gets a double, gets his second of the tournament, and puts us 3-1 up. Unfortunately, this, the celebrations are just so glitched in this World Cup international career mode, and we haven't got the full scenes, the full celebrations. Nevertheless, it's still 3-1 to serve BCHT's men and the three Lions are marching forward. Due to the fact that we're down to 10 men, China always have a way back into this one as John Stones commits. And now China one-on-one, -on -one, Jordan Pickford. That's why he's our number one. He makes a brilliant one-on-one -on -one save. Over to Sterling, the overlapping run of Wambasaka. We are moving like a well-oiled machine right now. And Wambasaka to float it in. Deli Ali couldn't get there in time. However, to China, our back line are exposed and Jordan Pickfield with a comfortable save. There's some substitutes coming on now. Harry Kane, Greenwood, and Gomes for Rashford, Sterling, and of course, James Madison. Now China willing Pull one back just for pride's sake. But no Greenwood with the interception. And that will be that. We had a bit of drama, a bit of a scare in the end of the first half. But nevertheless, we found our goal in the third. Rashford with the double. And of course, James Madison to get us all three points. And a 3-1 victory on opening day of World Cup 2022. And in the media, England fans happy with BCHD's progress. That is what you love to see. That is what we hoped would happen. And the fans are absolutely getting amongst it. Now, considering Romania are uh, top of the group right now, playing two games and the Ivory Coast have only drawn one. They're on one point. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to simulate this game against the Ivory Coast. We've got the full realism mod, so we're going to be seeing it through the full 90 minutes. And then we're going to have at the back, we're going to have Maguire. And we're also going to put in someone in the middle there. Angel Gomez will be starting. And then we're also going to put Alexander Arnold just to rotate the squad a bit so people, the players, don't get too tired. Here is the current 11 going in to face the Ivory Coast. We're going to see what they're going to come up with, what team they have. And we're going to go straight into this one. They've been on a bit of a losing streak now as they have Zaha, Nicolas Pepe, Kessier, Kuwame as Marcus Rashford bags a penalty for us. We're going to watch this one all the way through. Kessie picks up a yellow card. We have Harry Wings get it on the score sheet, doubling our advantage before half time. They also have Eric Bailly in there, Aurier. We have a few substitutions going on as well. Sancho coming off. Sessegnon coming on, a few injuries, Deli Alli gets our third, and now surely that is the three points wrapped up. Six points out of six, Romania next, and we've defeated Ivory Coast, we've swept them away with a clean sheet as well, and it's the perfect start for Sir BCHT's three Lions. We are loving life here in Qatar. So we're back to our main starting 11 in there, Madison, Wambasaka, and Gomez, pretty much the same starting 11 that we faced against China. We're going to have a top of the group battle. If Romania win this one, they're going to go top. If we win this one or even draw this one, we will be top. So let's go ahead and take the top spot in Group G. It is Romania up against us here, and it's going to be a massive clash. We're going to debut this dark blue jersey. That is how we're looking. Let's get straight into the match. The stage is set once more. Our competitors, our toughest competitors in this group, Romania, will be up against it, and we have a job on our hands. We were expected to win this group easily, and we're going to show the pundits and the fans why we are. And hopefully finishing in first place allows us to, you know, get a bit of an easier opponent in the round of 16, but that's never guaranteed. And what a sight we have to behold here, a packed stadium here in Qatar. 2022 World Cup is absolutely popping off. And just so you guys can take a look, this is how Romania will be lining up. I know I've got a few passionate Romanian viewers, so these are how your lads are lining up. Church as the captain, Radu in goal, Giannis Hagi as the cam. There's Matrita out on the left, Baluta and Marin will be the two central midfielders. All right, here we go then. It will be Rashford again to kick us off. Let's get the job done. Beautiful ball over to Raheem Sterling. He's making the run. Rashford unmarked. Rashford one on one. Rashford, a brilliant save from Radu. He has another go. And unfortunately, he can't get the header. We're just teasing on the edge of the area right now. Over to Harry Winks. Winks, he might have a go from long distance. Harry Winks shot just wide of the targets. How long can they keep going? The Romanians are fighting valiantly right now. Now Raheem Sterling 
over to Rashford. Can we catch them out? We've got a lot going for us down the left-hand side. Jaden Sancho, who's put the afterburners on now. He'll cut back inside. Can he get the finish away? And it's comfortable for Radu. Come on. Win that, Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw gets there, and Luke Shaw wins it. Over to Stones now, who's pushed forward. James Madison, he might have a go. James Madison with a powerful shot. is blasted over the bar, and that is half time. Nil-nil so far. Big tackle, Deli Ali. And now we mean business in this second half. As Sancho finds the ball through to Rashford. Deli Ali's making the run. Madison as well. Madison, who just finesse his way past. And oh, that is absolutely scintillating from the man who is dripping with sauce as of late. James Madison in fine form. We haven't been playing him in the Manchester United career mode. If you've uh, been watching the series or if it's your first time viewing, you must be thinking James Madison is an absolute god in this career mode. But no, he's been out of favor in our United squad. He was a season one signing from Leicester City and Sir BCHD has revived his career here in the international stage as now we find the opening goal. We've broken the deadlock and the Romanian defense is finally breached. It's his second goal in the World Cup right now as he missed out on the second game. He's back in the starting 11 and what a way to celebrate it. 1-0 to England. Romania yet with a clear-cut opportunity but they might be able to find themselves in a bit of a attacking scenario right now but our defense have been brilliant so far. John Stones, no Marion! As soon as I say our defense has been brilliant, what a fumble, what a mistake there. By John Stones, it's not his fault. The ricochet was unlucky, and Marin, with a superb volley, lands it in that bottom left-hand corner. He tackles well, and the ball just goes straight up to him. It's like he set it up on a silver platter for Marin to strike that one home. It's as sweet as a nut, and Jordan Pickford needs to put an arm out, needs to put his leg out properly there. And unfortunately, Sir BCHD, right after we got that goal, Romania find their way back into this one. Deli Ali will aim it for Wambasaka there, who was unmarked. Now Romania win the ball back, and we could be in serious trouble right now as Banku finds it over to Hagi. We've been underestimating Romania after their poor first half, but they've come to life. John Stones gives it away. You've got to be kidding me. John Stones, don't do me like this. He's trying to redeem himself. Now Matrita, we're sliding around all over the place. Our defense is all over the place now. Romania, Pickford comes out with a punch, and that has saved us from an embarrassing situation. And Sancho, who's given it away. We're looking lethargic at the back. Giannis Hagi makes his way through. And now the rebound. How is it? Don't miss that. You've got to be kidding me. Romania with a golden chance to get the lead. And he's missed an open goal, basically. Jordan Pickford did enough to put him off and come back. Now we need to move forward with purpose. Over to Jaden Sancho. The United link up. The United connection. And Rashford through to Sancho. We need a runner in the middle. Who's there supporting him? As Sancho cuts back through to Rashford for the winner, Marcus Rashford gets his double in the 85th minute. Five minutes to go and it's England's hero. It's the golden boy of the national team. The three Lions take the lead there quite undeservedly, but the United link up, the United chemistry works out in the end. And our number nine slots at home for our second, putting us into the lead. Romania were testing us. We were under the pump. Romania should have definitely had their second. It's Rashford's fourth goal in the World Cup. Jaden Sancho cuts back inside. Over to Rashford, and now Madison, can he get his double? James Madison, oh, Sancho could have got there for the open goal. But it won't matter, because that is full time. We edge out Romania in a tough battle that we did not expect going into this one. If they didn't miss that golden chance, the open goal, it would have been a totally different story. But our quality and our prowess manages to get us all three points. And it's a perfect group stage from England and Sir BCHD. Nine points out of nine, and we fly through to the round of 16. And we have capped off the group stage in exquisite fashion. And as you can see there, we're into the round of 16 up against Mohamed Salah's Egypt. In the other games, it is Germany versus Colombia. France taking on Denmark and Spain hosting Slovenia. In the other games, we have a few decent ones in here with the Netherlands taking on Poland. We also have Brazil versus Australia. Italy taking on the Czech Republic and Argentina versus Romania, the team who we just beat. But we'll take a look and see how the group has finished. It's the Ivory Coast and China getting knocked out. We also have Austria and Greece eliminated from the tournament there. Egypt finishing in second position in Group H, who we're versing. Italy and Slovenia managed to make it out in South Africa and Canada going home. It is Cameroon and Bulgaria also. Oh, Cameroon just nearly missed out on the round of 16, unfortunately for them. And then Brazil and Denmark passed with flying colors. Russia and New Zealand eliminated. 
It is Chile with a shock elimination there and Northern Ireland going home with zero points. Australia managed to make it through as France finished top, Netherlands finished top, it is Hungary and the United States going home. And then in Group A, Germany and Poland managed to take it out in a very tight group there. Top goal scorers so far, it is Marco Asensio leading the way with six goals, Spain running riot. And it is, of course, one of our own, Marcus Rashford, trying to aim for that golden boot in the tournament. I actually do not even understand this. We've had a two-day break between our last game and the round of 16. We're playing Egypt on the first, and our team, our first side, are absolutely knackered. So we're going to have to do a lot of squad rotation. You've got to love the depth and quality that England have on display and that we've caught up to this tournament, as this is our brand new starting 11. Literally, every single position is new. Pickford retains his starting 11 place but we have Chewell, Maguire, Rice and Alexander Arnold making up the back four. Loftus Cheek in that CDM position, Foden and Gomez the two central midfielders and then the front three is Greenwood, Harry Kane the captain and Sessegnon going into this match. We can't underestimate Egypt, they've gotten this far and we have to go in and try and win with our second squad. It's going to be tough but now we're into knockout football. If we lose this one we're eliminated, you know how it works. Round of 16, here we go. Here we are, it's knockout football, no second chances here. The group stages were pretty easy for the three Lions, but now we've entered uncharted territory and England definitely do need to make it past this stage. If we want any success in this tournament, if we win this one, I'm pretty sure we're up against Spain, but we've got to get the job done here first. Mason Greenwood's ready. Harry Kane will kick us off. The second team for England is going to get a run out. As Angel Gomez makes his way through at the back post, we might find some success and it's just gone over the top. Another corner in here. Can Harry Kane work his magic? The captain can lead us on to a header straight at the keeper. Making his World Cup starting debut. He might be. There might be a few nerves to settle as Egypt worked that ball in. But Slabhead Maguire clears it away. No nonsense defending. Gabba with a beautiful ball to Mohamed Salah. And Jordan Pickford's come out. I have not commanded him to. And Jordan Pickford... He's given me some nightmares over here. That could have been a terrible situation. He still hasn't made his way back into goal. Back inside to Hafez. Hafez with a ball in, but Maguire always there at the last second as Greenwood fights his way through. Greenwood, a lovely little shimmy. And now it's Harry Kane. Finds the ball through over to Greenwood. Brilliant play right now. It is Sesson Young through to Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood finished that off, son. And that is absolutely sublime from Mason Greenwood. The Youth Academy prospect from Manchester United makes his name known on the world stage here. And in the round of 16, we're playing our second squad, but they're playing with some absolute spirit and national pride right here as the three Lions get themselves into the lead here. A left foot venomous finish into that bottom left-hand corner and it was millimeters away from getting the save and getting that Egyptian defender's deflection in. But Mason Greenwood, just like Marcus Rashford in front of goal, is lethal and we get the opener here in the first half. 31 minutes in and Greenwood delivers the goods. Now it's a cheeky ball in. Greenwood nearly from the set piece. Oh, Harry Kane's picked up an injury now. Hassan, hopefully Harry Kane can walk off his injury as Maguire wins the ball back. He's been our best defender so far. A different story in our United career mode, but we'll move on here with England as Angel Gomez finds it through. Greenwood down this right-hand side is dominating and he'll try, finesse it into the top left-hand corner and he got a bit too excited there. And back there, Harry Kane We'll shift that one to the left-hand side. It is Ryan Sessegnon with a buccaneering run. Can he cross that? In at the back post was Greenwood. And unfortunately, we can't double our lead before half-time. But so far, we are following the script. Jakobsen will find the ball in. And that is a free man, Hassan. How has Jordan Pickford left that in? How has he done that at the near post? He has had an absolute howler there. And still, we're unable to keep a clean sheet in these played games. But the number 10 for Egypt... The marksman ends up sneaking it in at the back post and we let him cross it in. An unmarked number 10 and Maguire absolutely in no man's land right there. Had no clue what was going on. And let's take another look at this. Bounces in. Un that is terrible from Jordan Pickford. He that is oh my goodness Jordan. But we've got to push on and try it. Forget about that equalizer and try get this second as Ryan Sessegnon and Foden link up. Is Sessegnon going to cut back inside? It is Foden awaiting. We've got him at the back post. Angel Gomez. Angel Gomez shoot again. How has that not gone in? Angel Gomez has messed that one up. Well, over to Sessegnon. Now Ruben Loftus-Cheek powers through. 
He's making a buccaneering run. Can Harry Kane get his first chance of the match? It is Harry Kane, and he has not been all too good throughout this game. But when he's got that golden opportunity, it is the captain, Sir Harry Kane, the number 10, to smash it home. And it was a shock that came to us in the second half, but we worked our way through it. We pushed through. That is a scintillating strike from Kane, a brilliant right foot finish. We're back into the lead here, and the three Lions are roaring again. Jip marching forward. And they've put a few substitutes on. Can they make the difference? He's Mohamed Salah puts it through. And Jordan Pickford redeems himself. Harry Maguire. Can he get his slab head on this one? Harry Maguire. Maguire. And that. Oh, I thought that went in. Oh, my goodness. Has it through to Gomez again. And now it finds its way through to Sessegnon, who has a shot. And it's a penalty. That is a very, very scrappy. And it's the former West Brom defender. I forgot his name right now. But if it comes up, I'll tell you. It is Hagazi. That's it. Hagazi commits the penalty. The number 26. Barely touches Harry Kane. I think Harry Kane's bought that one. And he's made the most of it there. And the, the, the manager's taken him off straight away. He's had enough of his penalty antics. And with 10 minutes to go, can it be Harry Kane to finish this fixture? Finish the game off. And let's place it in the top right-hand corner. Surely Kane. Oh, he's missed that one. How have we scuffed that chance? And Harry Kane had the chance to be the hero there. And he's absolutely plumped that one. We've aimed it too far wide. Will that chance come back to bite us? Let's hope not. Through to Greenwood. Greenwood with a lovely cross into the middle. Harry Kane, why didn't he touch? Well, Harry Kane, he literally just watched it go past him. And I was unready for the shot with Foden at the back post. All he needed to do was stick a foot out. Slide tackle the ball in. And there we have it. A late scare by Egypt. Unable to get the second to send it into extra time. We did it against Romania. We've done it here against Egypt. But we got the result. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. We're through to the quarterfinals. A floating ball. All the magic is happening here in Qatar. The 2022 World Cup is providing us with something special here. And just as we expected, we were going to be placed up against Spain in the quarterfinals. Our first real tough challenge. As this is a general overview of the the draw. We have Germany taking on France, Poland versus Brazil. Poland have made it all the way and Italy are hosting Argentina in the quarters. We'll take a look at the results. Germany romped Colombia 3-0. France demolished Denmark 4-1. Spain beat out Slovenia comfortably 3-1 and then Poland defeated the Netherlands. That is a shock. Brazil easily disposing of Australia 4-0 and then Italy with a comfortable 2-0 victory over the Czech Republic and then Argentina 4-1 winners over Romania. Wow, the round at 16 provided some juicy fixtures in there and the quarterfinals just get even better. Our career as England manager has started off perfectly there with four wins, three in the group stages, one against Egypt, but now is where it gets tough. Now is where we're up against some of the world's best and it's the business end of the tournament. But if you did go on to enjoy the first episode and you do want more of the England career mode, make sure to smack a like on it down below, hit subscribe and turn on those notifications so you never miss out on any FIFA 20 career remote content coming at you on the daily follow me on twitter the link is in the description and also make sure to comment down below any suggestions you have for the series what players we should be playing and what players should be called up to the national team nevertheless as always i've been bchd hopefully you did enjoy have a very merry christmas and i'll catch you all in the very next episode